unbelievable. So there's the trail going up to the actual wave. It's in that pocket right in this general area. And that's the most strenuous part of the whole hike actually is going up that hill. There's a lot of deep sand around here. And that's a real killer. It's about 90 degrees right now, 1230 in the afternoon. And even besides the wave, the wave itself, there's just, the geology around here is amazing. But yeah, you're in the middle of the desert. It's a pretty strenuous hike. It's not very long, but the deep sand and the exposure is pretty rough. So you gotta bring plenty of water. Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. It's 1:20 uh, p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We just got done hiking through the wave. 
up there where the little bit of sand is between the bee. Go a little bit past that and you will find one of the most spectacular once in a lifetime. Well, I mean, probably for us anyway, things. And we are so lucky and fortunate to have won the lottery after multiple times of Michael entering online and the two of us in person. Anyway, plenty of water, a gallon per person, and um, food, and best idea of all my idea. As always. <laughs> Hiking sticks, really helpful. And watch where you're stepping. There's deep sand, lots of craggy rocks to get your foot stuck in and twist it. Not speaking from experience, but yeah, anyway, it was all worth it. Gorgeous. Lucky. So we're on our way back from the wave. And these are some uh, distinguishing features that you can use to get back. You essentially follow this, this ridge most of the way. And the trail's up over over there. You can see the edge of where the wave is inside of that pocket there. But yeah, you know, it's just super exposed out here. I'm not going to go get too specific with the trail directions here, but when you win the lottery and you have a small meeting afterwards and they give you a map with landmarks so you don't get lost, I mean, you can just go on Google Maps and look overhead and that actually works pretty well which we actually did. So, you know, it's up to you and how comfortable you are with hiking. And There's no real established trail. In some spots you can see footprints and wear marks in the ground where a lot of people have walked. But that's about all you have to go off of. So we'll keep going. Uh, almost halfway. So here's another point of interest. This beautiful unending landscape out here. Still on our way. We have to walk around the, the edge right there, by that formation. And not too long after that, we'll be crossing over this ridge here. Then it'll be the main trail back to the trailhead. <laughs> 